Yes, it is. It's that time, everybody. It is that time for another edition of Maryland's Cafe Society Radio right here on the YouTube channel. How are you on this Tuesday? It's the 15th day of February 2022. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) No, I am not on camera today. Listen, I have worked out and worked out and worked out till... I am just, I'm lucky I'm doing this show today. I never sleep in, I never lay around, but today I've been so sore. My goodness, my goodness, I tell you. It it takes me to just do a little bit too much, go overboard, but here I am. Here I am, everybody. So happy to be with you on another show. And how are you? How was your Valentine's Day? Was it nice? Yeah. Did you get a lot of love? Give a lot of love? (laughs) I hope so. And what about Super Bowl Sunday? Was that a good day for you as well? Well, listen, I, um, I did, you know, the game was in the background as I was doing other things, but I did manage to pay attention to the halftime show. I got some reminders, in fact, to make sure that I watched the halftime show. And so we'll chat about it. We'll chat about it a little bit later on in the show. But, you know, from all accounts, what I'm hearing, everyone is describing it as epic. All right. So I I did not uh, do any special Super Bowl meals, you know. I Well, I, I take that back. I did the chicken thing. I did have the chicken, um, you know, paired it up with some salads and... Um, that was it i i was tempted i came very close to preparing some chili um but you know just decided not to like i said i'm already trying to do too much so i just did not i did not all right so listen i don't know how things are where you are weather wise i know we've been talking about the weather on the shelf uh since winter really kicked in but listen Um, It's been cold, but now I'm hearing that it's going to warm up. In fact, today is not too bad here in the Chicagoland area. I think we surpassed um, freezing. Uh, You know, it might be, you know, in the mid 30s right now. And tomorrow we're supposed to be well into the 40s. And some parts of the Chicagoland, I'm hearing reports that we may even get close to 50 degrees on tomorrow but um along with it it's gonna come rain and then the temps are gonna plummet it's gonna get cold again all in the same day (laughs) and the rain is gonna turn to ice and then the ice into snow and listen i'm hearing that from wednesday night to thursday morning we could get well uh, thursday into the day we could get Chicagoland area, again, depending on where you live, anywhere from one inch of snow to as much as 12 inches of snow. Not again, no. (laughs) Oh, when will it end? (laughs) Well, anyway, that's winter in Illinois and the Midwest, everybody. Uh, For the newbies, welcome, welcome. All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it short today. Like I said, I'm I'm trying to push through some pain that I'm experiencing right now. But um, um, I I did want to hop on and just uh, you know bring you some some numbers with the latest and what's happening in the world with COVID, and of course we'll we'll look at some other you know business news, and of course have a moment in Black history and all of that. But let's get to the COVID numbers. Um, according to jo- John Hopkins University, uh, the latest number of COVID-19 cases globally is now 414.7 million. And there's roughly 5.8 million deaths worldwide. Here in the United States, the latest report is right around 78 million COVID-19 cases and 923.4 thousand lives lost. Mm, That's just a 
astronomical number. Um, as for China, well, they're now reporting 125 1,672 cases, and their COVID-19 deaths have climbed. Yeah, eight more lives have been lost in China, putting an end to their nearly year-long number of 4,849. Yeah, they, they, they've they increased now to 4,857 COVID-19 deaths, 4,857 COVID-19 deaths. So listen, all I can say is continue to stay safe, everybody. Um, you know, I know across the country, um, there, you know, many um, states and municipalities are, are revisiting their, their mass mandates. And, you know, a lot of it is making headline news and front page news. Do what feels comfortable for you. So, you know, protect yourself, stay safe, wear your mask, social distance, keep your hands washed. I think that's one of the things that we can all draw from this, right? Because we got so laxed um, across the country, although I'm a hand washer and I prefer wipes and not the gel. I know a lot of people had gotten to using them, the gels to, to, to clean their hands um, in the last 15, 20 years, but but you know that's some of the things that that we just weren't doing we weren't keeping a certain surfaces and and public spaces clean enough and so i think that's one thing that we've we've been able to pull from all of this and that is to to keep those public places and spaces more clean and sanitized in addition to really focusing on keeping our hands <clears throat> washed in general because you know that's how you you can pass on uh, various viruses and germs and things of that nature so yeah just just do that everybody i don't i don't mean to to be anal about it but you know because this COVID 19 is so new um well we're two years in now but still they're they're learning so much about it and i get it you know uh some researchers and medical professionals don't really know what to say. I think, I believe I read that the CDC was not uh, supporting the no man, the um, um, uh, taking away the mask uh, mandates, if, if I'm not mistaken. I think they still are recommending wearing masks, but again, it, you know, it's an individual um in some places already it's it's an individual decision that that you have to make but uh because it's still also new even if you're vaccinated you know i i just think that's a, a safer way to go is to to wear the mask until we absolutely um uh, know for certain that this thing has passed although although they are saying this is something that is probably going to be with us and you know perhaps you know, after a little while longer, it, it um, will be uh, a, such a part of our existence that, you know, we will get used to it and our immunity, whether through vaccination or natural, will, um, you know, be able to fight it off. But anyway, I'm rambling. So let's move right along and get into some news, some business news. Well, listen, you've been hearing about Russia and Ukraine, right? Yeah, it's very upsetting. Well, listen, they're offering a glimmer of hope. Um, that is, Russia is offering a glimmer of hope that they may not invade Ukraine. As you know, the world is is a bit concerned because they're, you know, they're revving up their military and they're moving in on them. But at the same time, they're saying they're not going to attack Ukraine. But anyway, um, Kremlin officials have signaled their willingness to keep talking with Western world leaders about security grievances that lead or have led to this current Ukraine crisis um, uh, while they continue to deny that, no, we're not going to invade, we're not going to invade, but yet you got the people right there, you know, it's... <laughs> It's like I'm standing right at the line saying I'm not going to cross the line, but, you know, why am I there? But anyway, 
um, what Russia wants is for the Western um, world leaders to guarantee that NATO will not allow Ukraine and other former Soviet countries to join as members. And I don't know, you know, I'm not into all of this world politics and geopolitical stuff, but um, can they do that? Can they tell NATO who can join and who cannot join? And and what is the reason behind all of that? I, I haven't studied it to that degree, so I, I can't comment anymore. All I can say is stay tuned and we'll try to, you know, um, keep up with it and learn as much as we can to share with you. Um, um, back to the United States, though, um, according to the Wall Street Journal, the state of Texas, in fact, the Texas Attorney General has filed a massive lawsuit against Meta. Yeah, we've kind of been following them um, for the last few weeks or so. But this lawsuit is claiming that Facebook's recently discontinued use of facial recognition technology has violated the state's privacy protections. And since, you know, the violation penalty that's attached to the state law is around 24,000 per violation, and then there's allegedly tens of millions of violations, they're saying that this uh, suit seeks civil penalties in the hundreds of billions of dollars. Oh my goodness, the problems just keep coming to Meta. And reportedly, Meta, if they haven't already held this meeting, they are uh, going to be holding an all hands on deck meeting about the metaverse and all that is happening with the company today, which is Tuesday, again, February the 15th, 2022. So we'll try to, you know, dig through all the, the news headlines and, and stay on top of this story and bring you the reports as we get them. All right, and shifting gears to the stock market, you know, and business in general, uh, it's being reported that investors are extremely nervous right now over an upcoming interest rate hike, interest rate hike from the Fed. And again, this potential Russian invasion of Ukraine. Now, everyone's watching whether oil prices will hit $100 per barrel. So we'll get there, but first let's look at the Dow right now. As of about one o'clock this afternoon, Eastern time, the Dow gained 398.60 points to 34,954.48 points. The S&P 500 was up 65.10 points to 4,462.89 points. The NASDAQ gained 282.77 points to 14,550.93 points. Now, again, remember, it's all fluctuating right now as we speak. As for gold, it's up $16.73 to 1,854 dollars uh, and 85 cents per ounce. Oil dropped. Yeah, three dollars and three cents to ninety one dollars and seventy seven cents per barrel. So it's inching up close to that one hundred dollars per barrel, but hasn't gotten there yet. So we'll see if it gets there by next week's report. Yeah, let's keep an eye on that. All right. Are you ready for some other news? Well, in other news real quick. Did you hear that Sherry Shepard is going to be the permanent temporary host of the Wendy Williams show with Wendy's blessings? So because, you know, they said permanent temporary host, there is, you know, that possibility that that uh, Wendy will come back. So um We'll just keep our fingers crossed and see what happens in that regard. Now, as for Sunday's Super Bowl, everybody, from the commercials to the pre-show to the game, it was just all inclusive, right? I mean, every generation was targeted, but um, that halftime show, oh my God, it leaned heavily into the Gen X nostalgia of, you know, growing up in the, the 90s and 
and the 2000s, right, with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, uh, then Surprises by 50 Cent, and of course, Anderson Pack. He had to insert himself in there, right? <laughs> oh, it was so much fun. It was fun. It was entertaining. It was hot. And once again, a throwback uh, to be remembered. Now, the Los Angeles Rams beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, before all of that happened, there was the pregame shows and, and Mary Mary sang gospel legends, Mary Mary sang the Black National Anthem. They did a beautiful job. And of course, Janae um, Aiko sang America the Beautiful, country western singer Mickey Guyton sang the national anthem. And yes, NBC did apologize later for mixing them up during their pre-show intros. Yeah, when they were introducing Janae Aieko, they showed the picture, uh, um, sh video shot of Mickey Guyton. They got him confused. Well, you know, there hasn't been so much blackness <laughs> in the NFL in terms of, you know, the pre-shows and the, the um, um, halftime shows. Well, you know, we, we, we've had, you know, some, some black entertainers. I, I, I take that back. But, but it was just, um, it seemed like the show entertainment wise was truly dedicated to, to black people and, you know, perhaps maybe some of the behind the scenes producers and camera guys and stuff di didn't quite know who was who, but, you know, NBC did issue an apology for that uh, brief mix up uh, of the two ladies. And listen, this year's Super Bowl also marked a historic moment as the American Sign Language performers were featured, yes, um, during the halftime show for the first time ever with famed deaf musicians Warren Wawa Snipe and Sean Forbes performing the lyrics in American Sign Language. And that was epic as well. Ah, all right. So what's next? Well, what what can top all of that? Well, well, we do have the National Basketball Association's All-Star Weekend coming up this Friday in Cleveland. So, you know, every, everything wasn't all that bad for the state of Ohio, right? Nah, the, the Cincinnati Bengals didn't win, but Cleveland did get the All-Star festivities this year. And so starting with the All-Star Celebrity Game, on Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Central Time, um, all kinds of things are going to be happening. Saturday includes various events that will lead up to the All-Star Saturday night event. And then, of course, the big game will happen on Sunday to be aired on TNT with coverage starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central Time. Um, I did a little checking. It looks like DJ Khaled and Nelly and a few others um, are expected to perform throughout the weekend as well. So if you want more details, you can go to the NBA.com website and look for the All-Star link. Okay. All right. And so last week, we talked about the Oscars on on the show and you know who was going to host where they're going to do a host blah 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 well listen the academy awards made an official announcement this morning on good morning america um that would be tuesday again tuesday february 15 2022 that amy schumer wanda sykes and regina hall will host what some have been calling Hollywood's least desirable job. Yeah, the trio of comedians will each take helm over a segment of the three hour broadcast, which will be airing next month on NBC, or I should say ABC. And so um, that's, that's interesting. And I think they're making history as uh, the first trio of women to host the Oscars. So congratulations to them. And I can't wait to see what it's going to be like now. 
this 94th Academy Awards again will air live on March 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 7th Central on ABC Live. Live, that's what's going to make it really interesting, right? All right, well, congrats again to the ladies. All right, I think that's it. Um, Just one last thing before we go. uh, This week for Black History Month, we are recognizing American Erin Jackson. She became the first Black woman to win a speed skating medal at the Beijing Winter Olympics. Yeah, just the other day. Um, She nabbed the gold in the 500 meters. So congratulations to her as she makes history and goes down in history. Uh, And before we go, we're going to review our February word of the month, which is a review from last year. And the word is quiddity, quiddity. And it's spelled Q-U-I-D-D-I-T-Y, quiddity. And it means the inherent nature, distinctive feature or essence of someone or something. All right, so quiddity. And again, as always, there's always that opportunity to uh, get some additional exposure for your business product or service through the show. Uh, my various platforms, website, and so forth. All you have to do is send an email to producer at marylandscafesociety.com for more information on that. Um, Also, just remember to check out that website where you can link up with me on social media. And of course, check out the blog and uh, this YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to hear from me on Mondays, and I know, I know a few of you reached out to me um, um, over the last 20, 20 hours or so, maybe, uh, 12 to 18 hours or so, because you did not get that Monday email from me yesterday. I told you guys, I've been kind of in a little struggle here, kind of overdoing things. And so I need to kind of scale back a little bit. Not that I'm not no longer going to do the emails. I am. I just mean physically. Oh, I just, I, I, my, yeah, my workouts are just a bit much. But anyway, I am continuing with the Mondays with Maryland's email club. So if you want to be a part of that, go to Maryland's Cafe Society at yahoo.com. Um, just shoot an email to me with your email, obviously, and just say, at me to the email club and I'll get something to you. And to those who who reached out and wanted to know what was going on, I'm going to get it out today. All right. I'll get it out today a little late, but you'll get it. All right. And I believe that is it. And oh, what is love? Love is for this week. Love is wellness. How about that? I love is wellness, physical wellness. So um, as I continue to recuperate, I ask that you all do the same if you need to. And to remember, if you don't do anything else for the balance of the week, month, year, life, be sure that you live, you laugh, and you love. As always, it's a pleasure and a privilege. And we'll be talking again next week on the show. Peace, everybody.